Uh, we got a good repair going on today. Are you excited, Kaya? Always. Get ourselves a nice eight inch with the Santacom packer. We're gonna throw that in. Repair a, uh, for this hotel over here. Got eight inch line. Wrapping up our balloon or else the resin gets stuck. It's a very important step to make sure you wrap it get nice. If you don't wrap it nice, you mess things up. You wanna make sure we get good coverage. If it doesn't go right, we'll have to redo it. We do these uh, trenches repairs for a couple reasons. We have this uh, asbestos pipe that's separated, right? So we don't want it to, con right now it's separated, but if it falls down, then you start to have problems where the pipe separates and it falls down and they have problems with sewage of uh, the flow, and then you gotta dig it up. We wanna catch it now, right before it actually does that. Right now it's basically just cracked, but it hasn't fallen down. So it's a great time to do a trenches repair. That's gonna put fiberglass sleeve inside. That's our fiberglass right here. We're gonna impregnate that with a resin, put down a balloon and inflate it, and it's gonna seal, hermetically seal that spot. But not only hermetically seal it, it's also a structural repair to prevent any movement from that weak spot right now. That's what we're doing. We wanna make sure it's at a, uh, Consistent coloring. Getting a good mix is really, really important. Some guys aren't really uh, so careful about that. And you don't get good polymerization. These guys are holding it in place. Put it pull off and they're gonna pop off. I'll bring it over to the guy over there. Pushing it inside. You get to the mark. And then add some air at the pressure gauge. How'd it feel? Oh, it was nice. That went in so smooth. That was yeah, the best push ever. Those That's wheels, Sanicon wheels are, are the way to go. Gotta clean those tools off. The tools aren't clean. And the next, uh, the next mix won't come out good. But that's our, that's the mix we love the best. Look at that. That's great for a good mix. I love the fact we have the big squeegee for these ones. Good size drill. Uh, okay. These thinner. Oh yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna hold. We're gonna hold it at uh, at about two bar, maybe a little bit more. We're just sitting out here chilling in the, uh, in the cool uh, cool environment inside while we're waiting for it to, to cure. It's in the oven curing, you know? And then uh, we're just having a good time with the boys. And I'm like, oh, we're, we're, we're done. Hour 15 minutes. We just kept talking. We're having a good time with the guys over here. Good time. <laughs> Not ready Too to much go. coffee. Too much coffee. You guys are closing this out. You guys, I know what you're doing, man. I'm you're trying, trying to, to get Oh, Lord. You gotta always figure out, like, what's your buttons? Is it zero? Is it L? Like, you never know which one it is. In this country, you know, the but lobby rather, can be number two. You'd rather know. do our, 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 our custom where we just kind of stand here and wait. we don't realize that no one actually uh, pushed the button, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot, you know? I don't think it has anything to do with coffee. I think it's just... <laughs> it's just, do, just do, sheer do, stupidity. Doofus and doofus. Dumb, <laughs> dumb. Plum and plumber, as they say. Get the key. Uh, it's hot outside, but we got our shade over there. It's always good. We used to not want to walk away from our jobs, but now that we got this pressure thing over there, so you got a gauge over here, you got this over here. Sometimes you walk away and all of a sudden you got no pressure. You got to resolve the issue or else you're in trouble. What we do now is we have it uh, set up to a Telegram account. So anytime we have an issue, it automatically shows us on this, uh, if you can see it, on the on the phone. It sends us warnings and stuff. All right, so we're going to hop in this happy place. All right, that's right. Oh, that's right. We got a bypass in the Packer. Dude, I totally forgot about that. We're in a hotel over here, so it probably doesn't... Oh, yeah, I can't throw it down. Look at that. And look at that. 
There's a bypass, so it can't flood up their system. <laughs> I don't know what's with me these days. This is the best part. Wait for it to come out. Oh, it's clean. Show the boys the packer. Dove, tell them. Okay, so that's how it should look. Nice and clean. Looking beautiful. That should be good. Should be fine going. Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. Slowly, slowly, okay? Go inside. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, this is a tikkun. I love these packers, man. Oh my god. Let's keep going. Absolutely beautiful. Keep going. Pull it back to where the middle is. You can see where right here was the, uh, that's the middle right here. That's where it's broken. Right there, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, sometimes you take a look at these uh, repairs. You can see how smooth that came out, even though we have three layers. Super smooth repair, structural repair, and that's uh, not gonna move anymore. Oh, delicious. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy our adventures for today. That was a, a fun repair. I love doing the uh, large diameter lines, and I love how delicious it looks. So, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next videos.